We begin tonight following the deadly stabbing of 18 year old Jason Jenkins. The young man was murdered at a Rockford Walmart on Northridge Drive Sunday night. He was stabbed in the back while working his shift. The suspect 28 year old Timothy Carter is in custody at this time. We've also received court documents describing the details of what occurred inside the Walmart. The documents say Walmart's surveillance video shows Carter grabbed two knives from the store. The document further states the video shows Carter wandering the store while giving African American people dirty looks. Goes on to say that in the video, Carter approached Jenkins from behind and stabbed him in the lower back. This in addition to using a racial slur. And tonight, we're digging deeper into this case, speaking with a local group focused on combating racism in our community. 13 WREX's Destin Howard joins us live with more as the Jenkins family seeks justice. Destin, what'd you learn? Bernie and Derek, it seems to be back to business as usual here at the Walmart on North Ridge Drive. Just two days following the death of 18 year old Jason Jenkins. Now I showed those criminal complaint documents to eliminate racism 815. That's a local advocacy group here in town. And I asked them if they believe that this was a hate crime and they answered yes. When are we going to, when are we going to do something about the people who are doing this, who are hurting other people? sometimes because they're just different. They look different. Richard Rundle is one of the founders of Eliminate Racism 815, wanting to see justice for the family of Jason Jenkins, murdered while working his shift at a Rockford Walmart. After reviewing court documents for himself and learning of the alleged actions of the suspect, Timothy Carter, Rundle is devastated to know such an act was committed. To me, the fact that you can be just going about your life and be killed just, for, for, you know, for no reason other than you happen to be there at that point in time and maybe look different. It, it's, it's like it shouldn't be happening and we as a culture should try to do something about it. With that being said, Rundle wants to be clear that these actions do not reflect the Rockford community, and he feels the nature of this crime is different from other violent acts. I don't think we need to be afraid in our, to move around our community, uh, no matter what we believe or look like. I, I mean, I think Rockford generally is a safe place and the great majority of things that uh, when people get attacked or hurt or something like that are often people who in some way know each other. When hearing the story of Jason Jenkins, Rundle says the community can learn the importance of showing kindness to one another in hopes that another tragedy will be prevented. What we can do personally that seems like it's doing not much at all, but it, it makes a big difference. Uh, is treat everybody with respect, with courtesy, with civility. Now, I've also reached out to the Winnebago County State's Attorney's Office to find out when the last time someone was charged with a hate crime in Winnebago County. We're still waiting to hear back from that office at this time. I'm Dustin Howard reporting for 13 WREX.